In case of net asset method, equity shares are valued if preference shareholders have no priority to preference share capital and preference dividend. If preference shareholders have priority as to payment of preference share capital and dividend. If preference shareholders have priority as to payment of preference share capital only. And if preference shareholders have priority as to payment of preference dividend only. Now let us look out a problem regarding valuation of shares in case of net asset method. Balance sheet of X Limited as on 31 3 2018 is given. Come to the liability side of the balance sheet. Share capital 10,000 6% preference shares of rupees 10 each fully paid 1 lakh. 30,000 ordinary shares that is equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid 3 lakhs. Debenture redemption fund 30,000. 7% debentures 50,000. Depreciation fund 30,000. Creditors 1 lakh. Come to the asset side. Sundry assets 5 lakh 10,000. Discount on debentures 10,000. Preliminary expenses 30,000. Profit and loss account. That is debit balance and profit and loss account, which is a loss 60. 000. The total is 6 lakhs 10,000. Regarding the adjustments, the sundry assets are worth rupees 5 lakh 25,000. That is the market value of sundry assets is rupees 5 lakhs 25,000. One year's interest is owing on debentures. One year's interest on debenture is outstanding and the dividends on preference shares are in arrears for. 2 years. So 2 years preference dividend are to be paid. Value the shares on the, on the net assets method. Valuation of equity shares. If preference shareholders have priority both as to the payment of capital and arrears of dividend in the event of liquidation. So first we should calculate net assets available for equity shareholders. First, take the market value of sundry assets, which is 5,25,000. So, minus liability to outsiders. So, in case of liability to outsiders, we should take 7% debentures, 50,000. Creditors, 1 lakh. And come to the adjustments. One year's interest is owing on debenture. So, outstanding interest on debentures must be taken. So outstanding interest on debentures for one year comes to rupees 3,500. Deduct the liabilities to outsiders from the market value of sundry assets. The net assets comes to rupees 371,500. And while taking the assets, we should not consider discount on debentures, preliminary expenses and profit and loss account debit balance in profit and loss account. That is, we should not consider Fictitious assets and expenses not written off. So the balance net assets is rupees three lakh seventy one thousand five hundred. In this case, preference shareholders have priority as to payment of preference capital as well as dividend. So from the net assets, deduct six percent preference share capital. The rate of dividend is six percent, and preference share capital is one lakh. And in case of dividend, two years dividend is arrear. So regarding the rate of dividend, rate of dividend to 6% and the amount of dividend for one year comes to 6,000. In this problem, two years dividend is outstanding. So two years dividend comes to 6,000 6, plus 6,000, 12,000. So amount payable to preference shareholders, that is preference share capital plus dividend comes to rupees 1 lakh 12,000. If we deduct this amount payable to preference shareholders from the net assets 371,500, the balance is net assets available for equity shareholders, which is 259,500. The next step is calculate value of equity share. So regarding the formula for calculating value of equity share, it is amount available, it is net assets available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. In our problem, instead of equity share, the term ordinary share is given. Ordinary shares are nothing but equity shares. And number of equity shares given in our problem is 30,000 equity shares. 
So net assets available for equity shareholders is 2,59,500 divided by number of equity shares 30,000. Therefore, value of equity share is equal to rupees 8.65. Let us now calculate the value of shares. If preference shareholders have no priority, both as to the payment of preference share capital and arrears of dividend. First, calculate the net assets available for equity shareholders and preference shareholders. So, first, as usual, we are going to take the market value of sundry assets, which is 5,25,000, less liability to outsiders, 7% debentures, 50,000, outstanding interest on debentures, 3,500, and returns 1 lakh. Net assets comes to 3 lakh 71,500. In this case, preference shareholders have no priority as to the payment of preference share capital and preference dividend. So, we are not going to deduct preference share capital as well as the arrears of dividend. So, net assets available for equity shareholders and preference shareholders is 3,71,500. Now, calculate the value of one share which is equal to 3,71,500 divided by 40,000 and this 40,000 is nothing but the total of equity shares and preference shares. We are taking the total number of preference shares also because the preference shareholders have no priority over preference share capital. Third case is preference shareholders have priority as to capital only. So as we should first calculate net as it's available for equity shareholders. So let us take the market value of sundry assets as the first step which is 525000 Minus liability to outsiders, 7% debentures, outstanding interest on debentures, creditors 1 lakh. So the net assets comes to 3,71,500 and in this case, preference shareholders have priority over preference share capital. So we are deducting preference share capital that is 1 lakh and 2,71,500 is nothing but net assets available for equity shareholders. Find out the value of shares now. It is net assets available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. Here we are taking only number of equity shares because the preference shareholders have priority as to preference capital. So here in this case we should not take the number of preference shares. So 2,71,500 divided by number of equity shares 30,000 which comes to rupees 9.05. Last case is preference shareholders have priority as to dividend only. That is they have no priority as to payment of different share capital. So first calculate net assets available for shareholders. It is the market value of sundry assets minus liabilities to outsiders which comes to 3,71,500. In this case, preference shareholders have priority as to the payment of dividend only. So, we are deducting only the arrears of dividend for 2 years. It is 6,000 plus 6,000 which comes to rupees 12,000. They have preference only as to dividend. They have no priority as to share capital. So, we are deducting only dividend. We are not taking preference share capital. So the balance is 3,59,500. Finally calculate the value of one share which is 3,59,500 divided by 40,000 shares. So in this case since the preference shareholders have no priority over preference share capital in case of total number of shares we should take both the number of equity shares as well as the number of preference shares which is 10,000 shares. So 30,000 plus 10,000 preference shares which is 40,000 shares and the value of one share is rupees 8.99.